Barry, well done today. Uh, a good victory, a much needed victory, and I thought a well deserved victory. Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, they're, they're known for being a good attacking side, um, like to get the ball down and play. Uh, we've seen videos of them, you know, they push a lot of bodies forward, but they're good with the ball. Mm -hmm. To score four against Dartford last week, you know, must have been on the attack, they're good, but I thought we were dominant today. I didn't think we looked in any kind of trouble. Um, I don't believe they had a shot in 90 minutes. Now, for us, that's a great confidence boost, but at the same time, you know, we were solid, we had a game plan. Um, I thought we smothered them, uh, stopped them playing, and on set pieces, you know, we'd seen some of their set pieces before, we knew where we might be able to get at them, and luckily the first one we did. Um, talk, talk me through that, I mean, what do you think actually happened? Uh, from what we believe, they have a signal that some one of the defenders shouts out just before you're taking it, they all run out and try and catch you offside. Uh, they told the boys, one of you delay your run, and if everyone else stands still, you'll be the one, hopefully, that gets it. Um, they done it and I think they conceded against Braintree the same thing so sometimes your homework works sometimes it doesn't but I think today the homework and the boys in training Thursday were excellent um, and it was more than enough some very good performances out there and I think uh, you know sometimes it's difficult to pick a man of the match when the team plays as well as they did this afternoon mm -hmm. uh, but certainly Teddy Perkins was as good as any uh, you know and someone's got to be chosen he got it I thought he had a good performance today yeah he's done great since he's coming he's very aggressive you know the same as Harry you know Harry bad luck he got suspended and it went on and we needed that cover uh, Ted's come in but to have four centre halves now that any one of them can play is, is superb and he was great today along with along with everybody really um, but it was nice to get that victory today because some of the boys felt when we beat at their place, we was hard done by in terms of, you know, they sat everyone behind the ball, um, you know, they didn't come to look to get a win. Uh, whereas to that one today, that we was on the front foot the whole game, and um, yeah, very very pleased and I'm proud of the boys today. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and the the second goal, which obviously kind of sealed it really, uh, again, you know, an excellent strike, wasn't it? Yeah, good cross from Biro. He had two corners in the first half that dropped in the six-yard box. A couple of lads that are supposed to be there, you know, they were disappointed they didn't make that run. So at half-time we said, look, if you're aggressive in your attacking of the ball, um, you know, what can happen? And Biro's ball was, was super, it was on the money. And, you know, Coombsy in that position there put it away super. And, and great to see him scoring as well. It is, because not often have we, well, we haven't gone with two big ones up front. I thought they were... They were good today. They bullied with Joe running in and the wide players doing well. And you know, James Taylor once again, unsung hero. You know, Definitely. I, well, I can't he, believe he hasn't won a man of the match well, yet, but that's all about opinion. And but, Ted was superb as well. But that, that's the difficulty, isn't it? As I said earlier, you know, yeah. there, there were you know, no yeah. 10, 11 players out yeah. there who could who were all contenders for man of the match. Yeah, so and, you and, pick and the boys that come on show today, and yeah. the boys that didn't come on yeah, yeah, show today yeah, that yeah. they're a squad and they all get on. There was no sulking. Um, which, which is great for us as management, and yeah. it's great for the other lads that everyone's on board together, fighting for you know to climb the league. No, definitely. Uh, and your decision, and Steve's decision to, to play the two up front with Joe sort of sitting in behind, worked well, taking into account the kind of fixture it was, I guess. Yeah, it, it does. You know, Coombsy's more of a hold-up man. Woody's more of a of, of a attacking the ball. Turns out that you know Coombsy got his head on one of the crosses rather than Woody. But no, they're, they're a handful. Coombs has got bags of experience. Woody, I know he's, he's been at House of Wimbledon, but he's still a young lad and he's still learning the game. Um, and then Ibs, when he come on, absolute run his socks off. Didn't give him a second's piece. And it's good to see him back playing. Okay. Same with Jake Embry, he sat there quiet. He's had the odd minutes here, odd minutes there. But the kid's attitude is superb. And then the experience of Doug comes on, keeps the ball, don't think give the ball away. Okay. It's, it's what you need, you need all types. Absolutely. Um, well, I know most of the teams around us, I believe, won today, so the, the pressure is still very, very much on, isn't it? Uh, and we're away at Hamble Hempstead next Saturday, which clearly, clearly won't be easy. How, how, will you, how will you, without giving any secrets away, how are you approaching that fixture? We'll have a look at the videos. Um, we'll have a look, see what formation, because we've obviously played two different formations the last couple of games. We'll go with what we think is best. Um, boys, enjoy tonight. You know, you can look at it as, oh, well, Welling won the day and Braintree, I don't know, Braintree, the Braintree, Billericay won, whoever won. You can look at it like, oh, but no, you look at it, well, what if we hadn't won today? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. we're the ones that are above them at the moment. So we've got to keep that momentum. I think we've, 
take Oxford, where we had ten men, I think we conceded two goals in, in four games. Mm. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. not bad. I think you know Steve got it right the other day in his midweek briefing. You know, in in the sense that he said we can't look at other sides all the time to do us favours, and they're clearly not particularly. We're going to do it ourselves. Yeah, of course. You have. What can you do after every ten minutes in the game? Or how they get on? How they get on? How are we going to change it? No, the boys proved they've got it in them today. Like like I said. A um, second ago, the Oxford game, we played virtually 90 minutes if you include injury time either side of at half time. The end, we played 90 minutes without a goalie, recognised goalie. Now, you take that out of it, that's four games, two wins, two draws. Mm -hmm. So, we've got to go to Hemel, um, it's on the Astro, so we've got to choose the way we want to play and who we play. Yeah. Um, they're a good organised size, great manager, not lovely bloke, um, and hopefully get ourselves a positive result. Brilliant. Well done today, Barry. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Thank you.